Okay, today I'm going to demonstrate my method of seasoning cast iron. I've uh, stripped this Martin Stove and Range cast iron number eight, and we're going to season it up with Crisco shortening. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to set your oven on 200 degrees and put a piece of, of cast iron in your stove to heat up. And as soon as the preheat cycle is done, we'll come back and apply the Crisco shortening to the pan. Okay, so the oven is preheated 200 degrees, so we're gonna pull our cast iron out. And the idea of seasoning is putting a thin layer of oil on the pan, okay? And so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna apply our Crisco shortening here all over the pan, completely coat the entire pan, cooking surface, handle, everything with oil. Make sure to get down in this groove really good and get all over that pan with your Crisco shortening. Okay? Front and back. And you see that when you apply this, the, the pan turns like a, that I call it battleship gray. And you might need to get a little bit more Crisco as you go along. But you just want to really, really massage that oil into the iron on the pan. And again, all over the place. And you might notice that there's a little bit of flash rust that's developed, but that's okay. You're going to be wiping that off. It's just flash rust. It's not going to stick to the pan. Never really ever want to season over serious rust. Okay, if a pan has rust, you got to get the rust off of it before you do this process, okay? But a little bit of flash rust is not going to hurt anything. Okay, so I've got the whole pan completely coated, real good, with Crisco shortening. Now here's the thing that's not so obvious. You're going to wipe the pan down with a lint-free cloth and you're going to get all that oil that you just put on the pan off the pan, okay? You want to season, again, with thin layers of oil. And what I've just wiped on this pan is good enough, so I want to wipe all the excess off of the pan. And that's what I'm doing right now. So that the pan goes into the oven Okay, as dry as you can get it. And this seems very counterintuitive when you do it, but this is how you do it. So now you put it back into the oven. You want to raise your temperature now up to 300 degrees. Okay? And then set a timer for uh, 15 minutes. And my timer works a little funky. You'll see it flip to 15 almost immediately. So the idea now is you're heating the pan up just a little bit more, another 100 degrees, and after 15 minutes, you're gonna take the pan back out, wipe it down again to make sure there's absolutely no excess oil, and then we're gonna raise the temperature up to 475 degrees, which is in excess of the smoking point of Crisco, which is 435 degrees, and then we'll let that run for an hour and 20 minutes, and we'll bring you back momentarily. Okay. So our 15 minutes are up. Let's pull the pan back out, and let's wipe it down one more time. And again, the idea of this wipe down, once you heat it up to 300 degrees, the idea of this wipe down is you just want to make sure you get any excess oil that might be on the pan, off the pan, okay? And one thing I failed to mention, make sure when you're doing this, you have some really good oven mitts, okay? So let's put it back in there, and let's raise the temperature now up to 475 degrees, okay? And set your timer for an hour and 20 minutes. Just like that, okay? And pretty much all the hard work is done. Let me do uh, mention that all of the towels that you work with, the towels that you apply Crisco and the towels you do the wipe down, you wanna make sure that they are lint free. 
that they're not uh, putting like fibers and things like that onto your cast iron so that you're baking stuff into cast iron. And that's why I don't use paper towels. I don't use any type of paper towel when I do my seasoning because I found that paper towels will uh, translate fibers and things onto my cast iron and that's not a good thing because you'll be eating paper and you don't want to be eating paper. But yeah, so we've raised it to 475 degrees. We'll let it run for an hour and 20 minutes. And again, the idea here is we're raising the temperature in the oven on the cast iron above the smoke point of Crisco, which is 435 degrees. And that's what's going to create that polymerized bonded layer of oil on top of the iron that does two things. Number one, it prevents rust. And number two, it begins to create that non-stick layer of seasoning on your cast iron that allows your bacon and eggs to just skate around the, the uh, skillet. So we'll bring you back whenever we're done. Okay, so the hour and 20 minutes is up. And oven is cooled down and so this is what your pan is going to look like after the first round of seasoning and that pan is beautiful and it is ready to go for another hundred years um, you know some people do several rounds of seasoning like I did and that's perfectly fine you know the more rounds of seasoning that you do the darker the pan will get and the more you'll establish your seasoning but I have personally found that one round of seasoning is sufficient to um, stop the rust and get the get the pan ready to cook on and it will season as you use it so hope that helped uh, thanks for watching